The New Zealand Geographic Board has agreed to publicly consult on a proposal to officially assign Māori names to the North and South Islands. Otako Marae Elder Edward Ellison says the move is a positive one and reflects the recognition of Māori culture as central to New Zealand's identity. It goes back beyond the naming of the islands as North and South. It recognises that there was a, a people history here in New Zealand long before Captain Cook arrived and it brings out some of that history that the reasons for those names, Te Ika Māui and Te Waipaunamu, uh, reflect those customs, traditions, and they are spoken of every day on Marae throughout New Zealand. Ellison says Tangata Whenua have always used Te Ika a Maui, meaning the fish of Maui, for the North Island, and Te Waipaunamu, meaning the waters of Greenstone, for the South Island, which are deemed appropriate terms to iwi. Ngaitahu's first uh, official building they owned in the Christchurch city, or our main centre, was called Te Waipaunamu, and that was uh, uh, bought in the 19th 40s, I think it was. I was brought up in our homestead is called Te Waipaunamu. Uh, these are names that are just so common uh, to us that uh, I just think it's a great, it's a great uh, initiative. Dunedin Mayor Dave Cull agrees and says it's about time these historical names are officially recognised. Well, it's pretty consistent with more and more Tereo being incorporated into everyday speech. We've always known what the Māori names for the North and South Island have been. So, bring it on, Kiwi Tanga. And while the New Zealand Geographic Board's decision to rename the islands was deferred in 2008, the Act was amended in 2012 and is now able to proceed. Devi Narona, Nine Local News.